<laughs> yes, good day. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so we had a conversation yesterday. I've had all the tutorials with other students, but I decided not okay. to upload other meetings because where we stopped yesterday, lots of people are waiting to continue to learn from you. So if I post other questions, other students have been asking, you know, it will be like, oh, we, we watched Paul yesterday. We want to learn how to integrate smart prosy. So this is a continuation from okay. where we stopped yesterday. Okay, that's good. Okay, so firstly, you said you've been able to um, fund your or add some uh, money into your yes. Smart Prosy account. Yes, I found in my account. Okay, please share your screen. Let's proceed. Okay. Is this me? Yes, I can see your computer now. Okay, you see now it's $29. No, 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 no. I'm seeing where it says Bluetooth and devices. So I think you're sharing the, the wrong window. You're presenting okay. the wrong window. Okay, you. Where it says present, say present entire screen. So both okay. when you head over to the OK yeah. bot, you can see it. Yeah. Can you see it? Okay, perfect. I can see your screen. Okay, I can also okay. see twenty nine dollars on your smart yeah. browsy. So that means you added twenty nine yeah. dollars to your smart browsy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now you have twenty nine dollars. Um, for everyone watching. I have lots of um, prosy vendors I recommend. Um, Smart prosy to an extent is it's um, <laughs> it's good to an extent, um, but the fact is the residential process especially, I discovered that most of them are being banned. So today, while I'm working with Paul, I will show you all on how to get prosies from Smart prosy. I will show you how to um check if a prosy has been banned you can check an ip address to see if it is um good or if it's um if it's if it's banned so hold on let me get in um let me get in there's a url i'm going to share with you on this link would this url to to check um, the process we're going to be getting. So firstly, there are different kind of process. Um, residential process are the kind of process you get to use if you're using a broadband. So for instance, here in Nigeria, we still have things like Zoom, Spectranets. I believe over your country, you have these um, modems, this ISP, these internet providers that you know give you, what's it called again, like a modem where you get to pay and then you have this Wi-Fi, you can use it to your household. Now, those are the kind of IPs we call residential IPs. They're like um, routers, modems, you know, that you can connect your computers, your mobile phones to over a Wi-Fi and use in a household. Now, these residential process are very beautiful. Um, they're, the, they're the closest to, you know, what you could use to simulate real traffic because then people who are connected to a modem, you know, would often visit the internet. And so, I mean... Um, Google, along with other agencies, already know that these ISPs are residential, so they don't really give them much of a scrutiny. Now, the second and the most, um, um, or the first and the most preferred option, it w would always be a mobile proxy. Now, why a mobile proxy? A mobile proxy is different from you know those routers you get. So why you can actually go get data from those you know routers and modems? Now we have internet connection that we get from the sim card of our phone so just like you have a mobile phone and you have a sim card on your phone now the cellular network you use is called a mobile ip it comes in directly from your isp directly from your cell your cell provider now when you get connections from your cell provider it is the most authentic it is the best it is the most preferable however it's the most expensive screw down let me show you an example 
Now you'll be able to see. This side? No, no, the other side where it says residential process mobile. Now scroll down slowly. Sorry, scroll up a bit. Okay. Now okay, you can yeah. yes, now you can see that from the um what is it called again? From the residential process and the mobile process. So the first thing you get to notice is that why the residential process started from seven dollars, the mobile proxy started from um what's it called again? Started from um eight dollars. Yeah. Yes, good. So now this in a nutshell just tells you that the mobile process are quite, you know, preferred. Now, however, on my video tutorials, I like sitting this. Now, um, vendors sometimes abuse their IP addresses themselves. So, for instance, um, Smart Prozy, the IP address you've been given, it's not just given to you and you alone. It's given to you and a thousand of other people. Now, most times, these people do not use this process ethically. So, that means most times, just the way you're buying this process right now, it's the same way thousands of people are also buying it. Now, the problem is when you buy process that lots of people use and then, you know, you get to ultimate task, sometimes you just have detection um, and being flagged at you. You're not being detected because your OK bot was not sophisticated enough to bypass. Rather, you're being detected because of the IP. So I'll ask you a couple of questions. Have you ever been browsing with a VPN only for you to see something yeah. like... Um, um click this catch bar we have been receiving lots of um we have been receiving lots of um traffic from your okay head over to google let me show you something like open up a new tab okay, on, on this new tab search for um um too much request like um oh just write many many requests many requests many then you give a space request then you now give a space again and type catch bar Google Catch Bar. Many requests. Then give a space. Google Catch Bar. No, cap, uh, catch. I think it's C A P T. Like Captain, but it's Catch. Uh, C A P T. Then C H A. C A P T. No, C A P T. P. Uh, P T. Then C H A. Catch Bar. Or Capture. Yeah. Yes, good. Yes. Then you can hit enter okay so you click on the images I would, I would like to show you something um yes click on that second one the second thing on the results yeah yes i think that one is too is too zoomed is very zoomed out click on the one below it yes good now okay. open that image on a new on a new page like right click and open on a new page okay okay now screw down okay. okay now you must have seen something like this if you ever use a vpn our system okay. has de de uh, detected unusual traffic from your computer this page checks that the request is not coming in from a robot now do you know why you get this even if you are actually using your computer as a human being it's because the ip address you were using must have been given by thousands of people who are trying to make okay. lots of requests around google so now Google has already put that IP address on a hold. That means whatever that IP address does is now under scrutiny. So this simply means as a human being, in order for you to continue using the internet, you have to say, no, Google, no, Google, I'm a human being, I'm not a robot. And now that's where you now click, I am not a robot. But now the real fact is, even if you click, I am not a robot, and you proceed into using, you know, the, your computer to continue whatever you were doing, whatever activities you have done whether you clicked on advertisements okay, whether you right. engaged with the website whatever positive impression you have done would majority of the times get deducted so what i'm basically trying to tell you now is when you use the wrong ip address that lots of people are also abusing no matter what you do your whole hard work of driving traffic your whole impressions your whole ad click might just be deducted it is not because okay bot was bad it was because the IP address, you know, it's bad. So right now, I want to teach you every single thing it takes to get the right IP addresses so you don't put yourself in harm's way. So having said that, on Google again, search for scam analytics. Scam analytics. Yes. Good. 
good that's it now changes from images to all okay okay beautiful now there's a website called scamanalytics.com and okay, okay let's let's try that yes beautiful all we would do is to check the ip addresses to know which is secured now when it comes to um um getting process servers like i said it is not basically about the 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 the, the what's it called again it's not basically about the category of process it's usually if it has not been banned before now because these companies, when they get banned, sometimes they don't easily change their IP address, putting your harm's way. So now we're going to be doing it one step at a time till we get the best IP addresses and we set them up with OKEG bots. So head back to Smart Prozzy. Okay. okay, so on Smart Prozzy, we would be going for um, mobile process. So click on go to pricing for mobile process. okay okay so now i can see the pricing it's going as far as um okay click on the two gig okay, yeah okay so i can see right now we're being given two gig for 7.5 dollar now a very quick question what kind of i wouldn't want you to open your website here for your own safety now but i will ask you a very short question your website what does it look like do you have a lot of images on your websites how many mb yes, okay. we have a lot of images okay i'm asking because we're going to be making a calculation now if you have a lot of images on your websites i'm trying to calculate how many mb it takes to open up one page because in order to make this work we would have to open up lots of pages would have to open up your website, click on one link, head over to another link. We would have to search for you on Google Chrome. We would have to build intent and do lots of other things to make this bot, you yeah. know, look legit. So now the only problem is if your website is very, very heavy, then um, it's either you reduce the load time or, or you get as many high gig as possible so i presume right now we're going to be doing this for the first time i'm calculating if you spend 15 dollars for ips how would you be able to recoup it back now if you have a very crazy website with very huge images then the bandwidth get exhausted before you generate all the impressions and clicks and views you'll be on the losing side i don't even understand what I, what i'm trying to like figure out right now yes i understand okay so now, firstly, I'm going to be reading down the futures below. It says 130 plus locations, 700 plus mobile carriers worldwide, city and country level targeting, 99.6 success rate and less than 0.8 second response time, HTTP and SOX, 3G, 4G, 5G, 100 plus ethically sourced IP. Okay. Um, so I would... I would want us to head over to the mobile process. Now, this is why I said so. Um, at the moment, it feels like you are actually going to be spending less than what you budgeted. I think we budgeted to spend twenty-eight dollars on this. If I'm if I'm correct. Yeah. Okay. Now we're spending yeah. less than twenty-eight dollars. So now the concept of mobile process for um. The concept of mobile process for smart proxy is the fact that it doesn't rotate. Now, I wouldn't want to confuse you. I'll just tell you what to do. And then while you're doing them, I'll be explaining. So proceed to check out. Continue to check out. Okay. Okay. So we can pay now from your current balance. So you can click on pay now.
Mm-hmm. I pay me at third. Okay. Um, click on go to pricing. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a personal thing. Smart Prozzy has a um, lot of things. Nigeria, called Shiko, Shiko. Most times their network is not stable. Okay, so, so what we're gonna do? Refresh the page once again. Okay. Okay, so let's try it again this time around. Let's pay now. Okay, so I think I think this is probably an issue with um, smart frozen. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'll let you keep trying this, and then the moment it gets working, um, you just do let me know so we can continue from where we have stopped. Okay, no problem. Yes, do have a nice day. Okay.